Hey guys, we, we pulled little Wooly out here to take some pictures of him this evening, and uh, we noticed his feet was getting out overgrown a little bit. So we thought we'd do a little demonstration of how we trim the sheep's hooves. Um, usually if we have a large group, we've got a, a turntable we'll run them through, but if we just have to do one, we, we'll just flip them. And, and they set them on their bottom, and they, it's a pretty relaxed position for the sheep to be in. There's all kinds of different clippers you can use. The best ones we use, we found is the ARS clippers, the red-handled ones. They seem to last longer, stay sharper, especially in, when things get dry, their, their hooves get really hard and they get dull really fast. First, I'll show you kind of how I go about turning the sheep over. Uh, so all I do is, is just get their head and I just roll them right on their bottom is all I do and just lay them back and just let them kind of rest between my legs there. So as you can see, his hooves are starting to come over just a little bit. So uh, biggest thing is, is you want to stay on top of it, you know, uh, to make sure nothing gets up un underneath there to get any kind of fungus. If, if you look at the inside, kind of like what I've done right there, you can see the hoof, uh, the kind of their pads. So the nail part, you want to just keep it even and flat with that part right there. You don't want to get jagged or anything like that because you're just creating places for manure and stuff like that to pack up in there. I'm just following the hoof line inside is all I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the excess nail out of the way. So... So I try to do it at the back, and then I just try to follow it right on up the foot. So that's kind of our end result on the first one. Right there's just a little bit of corner. And that's kind of what it should look like when you get done. The biggest thing is you just want them to have a good flat surface uh, for them to walk on. Just like if... Uh, I guess you'd say if you had a rock in your shoe, it puts all the pressure on one place. So if you get it all jagged, but if you keep it flat, it, they have even pressure on their hoof. This is the front feet when we got done. See how we've got them good and even all the way down. And uh, so we'll move to the back ones now. When you first get started, sometimes they'll have stuff compacted up in their feet when they're overgrown like that you want to just pull that out so that way you'll have a better idea of how to trim As you can see you can see the hoof and you can just follow the hoof line up with it We've got him done. We're gonna stand him up here and see how he... Yeah, they look like they've been hit, they're hitting really even. And that's how we do it here when we just have to do one. Uh, 